So, the Postal Service ended up breaking my CGC slab from my last raffle. If you want to hear the story behind it, stay tuned for that intro. Welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Like I said, um, Postal Service ended up breaking my CGC slab. It was my sensational She-Hulk number one that I did in my first ever uh, raffle giveaway on IG. My good buddy Leo, uh, Swamp Thing Comics, ended up winning the uh, drawing. And so I sent it over to him and he sent me some pictures and a video as he was opening up and recording it. And he showed that the top corner where the label is ended up cracking and it was it was a pretty significant crack so I was like ah oh, crap like this is unbelievable you know I've, I've talked to a few people in the uh, in the past that similar things have happened in their raffles and stuff like that and they weren't able to get you know a refund from the postal service so um, I ended up just uh, doing the standard you know insurance on it which gives you fifty dollars and um, ended up filing it you know initially he ended up trying to file it and they said that the person shipping it had to file so this was my first encounter with the postal service and filing a complaint so uh ended up filing the uh, complaint that they damaged the uh the book and it was actually pretty easy to do so i um sent some pictures sent the value of it and you know obviously my receipt that i paid for it and um waited a few days and lo and behold they uh, ended up refunding me the um, the insurance on it. I was like really surprised. So this was like, you know, one of the good stories that you get from uh, the Postal Service because normally when you talk about the Postal Service, you're always scratching your head because there's always something broken and, and so forth. So um, I was uh, pretty happy to report that I did uh, get a refund, and I'll show you here. Uh, here you go. There's a little, uh, they actually mail you a check, which I was, I was pretty surprised. I was like, when I saw the email, I was like, oh, we're going to pay you out the uh, $50. And then they never responded to anything after that. So I was like, well, how am I going to get paid? <laughs> they're going to PayPal at me. They're going to message me back. And uh, a few days later, ended up uh, getting a check in the mail. So uh, ended up, uh, you know, sending that towards Leo and um he can get that you know re-slabbed and uh i ended up uh before doing the raffle i ended up saying that there from the notes appeared to be uh, suppressible defects so hopefully he ends up uh, using one of his uh you know local pressers or a presser he knows and getting that pressed and uh and cleaned and resubmitted and that the 50 dollars will uh more than uh, cover that so um so that was it quick video i know quick video but i just wanted to report that it's it's not always bad when uh, you deal with the postal service we always go ranting about the postal service when you know they damage packages but uh this was one of the positives in the end point that they actually uh got it refunded because uh, sometimes they'll just flat out refuse and I know my buddy Steve Burke family 54 I don't believe he ever got refunded on his and I know this has happened countless other times to other people but uh, uh just wanted to uh, applaud the postal service for once uh, for uh, doing the right thing you know obviously we never want to get the package damaged in the first place but uh it, it was you know good, good to at least report that this was done and it was done in a proper fashion. You know, they got back to me pretty quickly. So, uh, short video, ranting a little bit at the end. But um, just wanted to report that to you guys, for people who are interested in, in hearing the story. So, uh, until next time, March with the Comics, out.